Brooklyn landlord Menachem Max Stark was kidnapped near his Williamsburg office late Thursday night, and his partially burned body was found in a trash container at this Getty gas station in Great Neck just before 4 p.m. Friday. The owner of the gas station made the gruesome discovery. He started smelling a uh, burning, like like a like you know a burning flesh kind of smell, and he just saw smoke coming out of the dumpster. He came, he saw, he peeped over, and next thing you know. You know, he calls 911. Police released this surveillance video of the minivan the 39 year old Stark was pushed into after struggling with two men on Rutledge Street while he was leaving his Southside Associates real estate office. He had with $51 million that he owed in, um, you know, in monies and foreclosures. We don't know how much other cash he had out on the street that he borrowed and finagled. PIX11 crime consultant Wally Zine said police here have a lot of different groups to investigate for possible motives in this kidnapping, torture, and murder. You're going to look into the people that were tenants because they kept calling him a slumlord. They kept saying that he was a terrible landlord. They're going to look into the different Hasidic groups of religious groups. They have the Satmires, which he is part of, and you have the Lubavitch. They're going to look to see if there was any animosity, any different types of um, argument of stuff. Did they have money on the street? And they're also going to look into, you know, this type of homicide. This was like a contract killing. And the Nassau County Police Department is still awaiting autopsy reports to find out the exact cause of death for Menachem Stark. And they're also looking at the surveillance video from along the route from Brooklyn to here to see if they can get a partial or a full license plate number for that white minivan. We are live in Great Neck in Nassau County. McGee Hickey, PIX11 News.